So the gingerbread house was made using a mesh body that was purchased off the internet. Now this body was modeled in an art software, meaning there's a lot of detail that's really not manufacturable on a CNC machine. So we had to take this mesh body and convert it into something that we could make. And Mastercam 2023 has a series of tools that help us make this mesh more manufacturable. So the first thing we have to do here, if we turn on the original level with the mesh, you can see there's three entities on this level. There's the mesh as it came off the internet, and then there are two little base surfaces here. So what we want to do is break this mesh up into smaller individual bodies that are easier to work with. Mastercam allows us to do that using the explode mesh utility. But first, before we can explode this mesh into multiple parts, we have to run check mesh to make sure it's clean. So check mesh finds that there are some flipped facets, some non-manifold edges, and a series of other problems with this mesh that need to be addressed. Luckily, Mastercam will automatically delete these problem facets, meaning we can just move forward. So now we can run explode mesh on this main body. Now explode mesh will generally take a prismatic mesh file and turn it into simple faces that are a little bit easier to work with. But what it will also do on a really nice mesh body like this one is it will take the bodies that were modeled individually and saved as one piece and break them back apart again. So if I run split disjointed mesh and click preview, we see now there are 677 bodies that came out of this one piece. And when we run this, Mastercam actually will turn all the bodies into different colors, which makes it a lot easier to work with that file. And now we can kind of move on to the next step of, of working with the meshes. So looking at this compared to the, the final model, right? This is our, our final model that was as machined. This is the model now that we just took it in and split it apart. We can see there's some problems. First of all, this is really faceted. It's really not a high quality polygon, high count polygon model. So what we want to do is basically find all of these bodies that need to be refined and smoothed and isolate those, but we'll just work on one for now. So let's focus on this main icicle body here. This is a one body of all the snow that basically goes around the whole perimeter of the roof. With this, what we can do now with the mesh tools is run a refine. What refine will do is it will create more triangles allowing for more definition inside of this body. So actually, if I turn on mesh facet edges, you can see all the very defined triangles in this body. When I run, let's say we select this as our, our target body. And right now we have an average edge length of one of these edges is just over a millimeter. So let's say make it a target average edge of 0.3 and let's preview what we get. So what this is doing is it's gonna keep the same geometry but make it with more triangles, meaning we have more triangles to work with later on. It already looks a little bit more smooth based on adding all those triangles but we can accept this now and move into the smoothing side. So on mesh tab, we have the smooth area. I can select an entire mesh. And using one of these four smoothing strategies, we can see just how much smoother we can make this. Now this is easier to see if we turn off the facet edges and run preview. So preserve curvature generally gets a little bit extreme on some of these, and I think you might see, yeah, this made a non-manifold mesh. Kind of takes some of the icicles and turns them a little bit skinny, something we really don't want here. One that I generally use as my first try is average. And what average gets us is something that looks a lot closer to the original mesh body, just with a little bit more smooth curvature. So this is something that I think we could very much work with. Now, the next step of this, we actually had to clean up a lot of these icicles because the icicles hang so low that there's a really large overhang that we need to get a tool up underneath. With an overhang such as this, we need to use a slotting saw. So we have a couple tool paths here that show a strategy to machine these. And it's a pretty simple tool path, basically just running up underneath the icicles with a slotting saw. And as it runs down here, you can see it's safe on a lot of these icicles, but we do kind of bump through some of them, especially the last one. You'll note on the, on the actual real part file, these corner icicles don't even exist because these were a problem for this undercut and for the undercut in this orientation. So what we had to do on all of these icicles that caused interference was run some extra mesh tools. 
So in this case, what we did on the icicles that needed a lot of work was run repair mesh. And we simply deleted a lot of this icicle. With modify mesh facets open, I can kind of change some settings here to force really aggressive selection of facets. And you can kind of see I selected just the very bottom tip of that icicle. Say OK. And now what the repair option does in modify mesh facets is it will delete those facets and then heal the mesh over it. So you can see here, it's still a watertight mesh with some new facets, but this is not something that we wanna make. And in this instance, the last thing we have to do to this icicle is run smooth area once more with some individual facet selection instead of picking the entire mesh. And now I can basically focus on the lower area of this mesh and say, okay, I wanna smooth all these. I can right click and drag to unselect any neighboring facets I may have selected. And let's see what the smoothing algorithm gives us. So right now average appears to not do a whole lot because we really want to try to aggressively smooth this model. So if we tried minimize area, for example, minimize area tends to be a little more aggressive. And you can see it did start to add a little bit of a radius here. And what we can do is run multiple iterations of that smoothing algorithm to see how much farther back we can smooth this. And so now it's starting to look a little bit more organic, a little bit less obviously modified. So maybe we'll try one more. We'll run it up at eight and say, okay. So now we've removed that one corner icicle. And this is a process we're gonna have to repeat throughout this model on all the deep icicles that we have to work around. But Mastercam has all the mesh tools needed to really interface with this mesh body and make it something that we can make on the CNC machine.